Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha. We'll be reading from the book of Jubilees, chapter 19. And it reads as follows, And in the first year of the first week of the 42nd Jubilee, Abraham returned and dwelt opposite Hebron, that is Kirjoth Arba, two weeks of two weeks of years. And in the first year of the third week of the Jubilee of the days of the life of Sarah were accomplished, and she died in Hebron. And Abraham went to mourn over her and bury her, and we tried him to see if his spirit were patient, and he were not indignant in the words of his mouth, and he was found patient in, in this, and was not disturbed. For in patience of spirit he conversed with the children of Heth, to the intent that they should give him a place in which to bury his dead. And the Lord gave him grace before all who saw him, and he besought in gentleness the sons of Heth, and they gave him the land of the double cave over against Marmara, that is Hebron, for four hundred pieces of silver, and they besought him, saying, We shall give it to you for nothing. But he would not take it from their hands for nothing, for he gave the price of the place, the money in full, and he bowed down before them twice. And after this he buried his dead in the double cave, and all the days of the life of Sarah were one hundred and twenty-seven years, that is, two jubilees and four weeks and one year. These are the days of the years of the life of Sarah. This is the tenth trial with which Abraham was tried, and he was found faithful, patient, and spirit, and he said not a single word regarding the rumor in the land, how that God had said that he would give it to him and to his seed after him. And he begged place there to bury his dead, for he was found faithful and was recorded on the heavenly tables as a friend of God. And in the fourth year thereof, he took a wife for his son Isaac, and her name was Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Nahor, the brother of Abraham the sister of Laban, and daughter of Bethuel. And Bethuel was the son and Bethuel was the son of Melchah, who was the wife of Nahor, the brother of Abraham. And Abraham took to himself a third wife, and her name was Keturah, from among the daughters of his household servants from Hagar had died before Sarah. And she broke and she bore him six sons, Zimron and Jokshim, and Medan and Midian, and Ishbak and Shaul, in the two weeks of years, and in the sixth week in the second year thereof, Rebekah bore to Isaac two sons, Jacob and Esau. And Jacob was a smooth and upright man, and Esau was fierce, a man of the field and hairy. And Jacob dwelt in tents, and the youth grew, and Jacob learned to write. But Esau did not learn, for he was a man of the field and a hunter, and he learned war, and all his deeds were fierce. And Abraham loved Jacob, but Isaac loved Esau. And Abraham saw the deeds of Esau, and he knew that in Jacob should his name and seed be called. And he called Rebekah and gave commandment. Regarding Jacob, for he knew that she too loved Jacob much more than Esau. And he said unto her, My daughter, watch over my son Jacob, for he shall be in my steed on the earth, and for a blessing in the midst of the children of men, and for the glory of the whole seed of Shem. For I know the Lord will choose him to be a people for possession of himself, above all peoples that are upon the face of the earth. And behold, Isaac, my son, loves Esau more than Jacob, but I see that you truly love Jacob. And still further to your kindness to him, and let your eyes be upon him in love, for he will be a blessing unto us on the earth. Let your hands be strong, and let your heart rejoice in your son Jacob, for I have loved him far beyond all my sons. He will be blessed forever, and his seed will fill the whole earth. If a man can number the sand of the earth, his seeds also will be numbered. And all blessings with the, which the Lord has blessed me, and my seed shall belong to Jacob and his seed always. And in, the, and in his seed shall my name be blessed in the name of my father, Shem, and Noah, and Enoch, and Nahal, and Enos, and Seth, and Adam. And these shall serve to lay the foundations of the heaven and the strength of the earth, and to renew all the luminaries which are in the firmament. And he called Jacob before the eyes of Rebekah his mother, and kissed him, and blessed him, and said, Jacob, my beloved son, whom my soul loves, may God bless you from above the firmament, and may he give you all the blessings with which he blessed Adam and Enoch and Noah and Shem, and all things of which he told me, and all the things which he promised to give me. May he cause to cleave to you and to your seed forever according to the days of heaven above the earth. And the spirits of Mestema shall not rule over you or over your seed to turn you from the Lord, who is your God from now on and forever. And may the Lord God be a father to you and you the firstborn son, and to the people always, go in peace, my son. And they both went out together from Abraham. And Rebekah loved Jacob with all her heart. 
and with all her soul, very much more than Esau, but Isaac loved Esau much more than Jacob. Amen.